hello friends radhika ravi kumar here welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial we'll continue with the collections topic so in my previous tutorial i was just telling about the i was just giving an introduction to the collections like what is collection and how each and every variable like what is a normal variable look like and how the record variable will look like and how what are the like uh, what do you say the collection of records how does it look like and all so hope you guys have understood till there now moving on to the advantages of uh, of collection why do we use uh, collections here okay let me tell that so the first point that you need to remember whenever you're using uh, the collection like what is the advantage is nothing but it uh, helps us to or helps to uh, return multiple records as the out parameter from a stored procedure or else a function so whenever you're writing a program and you want to pass some of the values as an output from a stored procedure or function that time you can use this collection so that it will give you multiple records as an output so that is the reason we use uh, collections and the second point that uh, we can consider is it improves the performance of uh, PL SQL programs. P PL SQL programs is nothing but the same thing like the stored procedure function, all those things, triggers, all those things. So using so. it improves the performance of PL SQL program using the bulk binding concept binding concept so hope you guys know about bulk binding concept if not then uh, i guess i need to create a video on that i'll do that as soon as possible so as of now just you know know this sentence like it improves the performance of pl sql program by using bulk binding concept these are the uh, some of the advantages of the collections so moving on to the types of uh, collections that are available so what are the types of collection there are three types of collections one is the we say associative array and second one is nested uh, array and the third one is v array arrays or else uh, you can say uh, variable arrays okay these are the types of uh, uh, collections so e e we'll discuss each one of the thing in the next tutorial like associative what is associative array and what are the things that comes under this and how to write a program on this and nested array v array and all so these are the types of collection that you need to remember now coming on to the there are certain attributes like collection attributes that you need to look into or you can say collection attributes or methods that you need to remember so those are uh, nothing but uh, there are many like for example first then last then count then comes next prior exists extend so what are these things okay let me explain you one by one first let me complete it what are the attributes that are available delete and then we have limit so these are the uh, collection attributes or methods okay that is first last count next prior access extend delete and limit so what are these things okay we'll see that the first one is first first is nothing but which will return as the index of the first value for example uh, I'll just uh, insert a few records here. Okay. 
we'll consider this array this is the first record second third fourth fifth and all okay consider these are the indexes of each record okay and here is the value something like 900 then 600 then 400 comes 100 and all okay so consider this has a one record uh, type so what is the first first as i mentioned first is nothing but will give you the or uh, returns the index of the first value so here if you see what is the uh, you know the uh, first value which is the first uh, value value is nothing but 200 that is the index 2 is having the first value right so first will always return like if we write like uh, for example this this entire uh, is into a variable called var okay we'll consider like that then var of sorry var of or uh, when i say uh, like var of first okay uh, it's not like var of first sorry it's var dot first when i say it like that then i will be getting the value as two here because returns the index of the first values our first value is nothing see the index one is not, not having any value second is having a value right 200 so this is our first value and that is nothing but the index is nothing but two so that is why it returns the index of the first value that is the meaning of the first okay so uh, the remaining things like uh, the other uh, collection attributes like last count and all we'll see in the next tutorial as i'm running short of time here so hope you guys are enjoying my tutorial and getting benefited by it so if there are any changes that i need to do then let me know and uh, thank you very much for watching and keep supporting my videos bye